What's up, NLC Live? I'm Rick. I'm one of the worship pastors here at the church. And I'll be honest with you guys. I am so excited to talk to you all about a topic that I nerd out on a lot. And it's the topic of finances. Um, I love to learn about it. I love to study it. A lot of people don't know, but um, finances and money um, are one of the most talked about themes, topics within the Bible. It's talked about more than 800 times in the scriptures, and I'm excited today to learn about it a little bit more with you guys. Let's get into it. So our scripture for today is Proverbs 13, 22. Good people will have wealth to leave their grandchildren, but the wealth of sinners will go to the righteous. So I get two things out of this scripture whenever I read it. The first, I think of the word stewardship. Now that tends to be kind of like a Christianese word that we hear all the time in church, but all it means is to manage or to take great care, like intentional care of something. And that's what we see in the scripture. This person is not just thinking of themselves, of their own agenda, of their own needs, but they're thinking, what kind of legacy am I leaving behind? What am I instilling into the next generation? And what I thought was super interesting is it says grandchildren. So as soon as I saw that, I'm like, okay, so this isn't just a financial issue or financial situation. This is not just leaving money behind or leaving wealth behind. This is instilling into their kids the importance of being a good steward and of being generous so then that their kids can instill that into their kids, right? It says their grandchildren. The second thing I got was um, the second half of the scripture says, but the wealth of sinners will go to the righteous. I'm not gonna lie, I was super confused when I read this. And I had um, to dig a little bit and I found a translation that ended up helping me. And it's the voice translation. Shout out to the voice translation if you've never read it. It is so good, um, so easy to read, but it says, but the wealth of the sinner is eventually passed on to the right living it's going to eventually end up to the righteous because it's not ours. It's not our money. It's never been our money. It wasn't our money to begin with. He blesses us. He gives us things. He gives us finances. He gives us resources. And it's our responsibility to be kingdom minded with it because it's not, it's not ours. I'll never forget when this really hit home for me. And it was, you know, that, you know, my house, my stuff, my money, it's not mine, it's God's, is when I heard this analogy. So this guy walks into a room and he asks all these people, he says, I need $100 to buy my wife a present. So they all look at each other and then one guy stands up and he hands him a $100 bill. And he asks the guy, was that hard for you to do? And he says, well, no, because you handed me the $100 just before we walked into this meeting, right? It was never his money. like. Of course it wasn't hard. And it's the same principle. Like God has given us things. He's given us resources. And what, what is our attitude towards those things? Um, what is our, added toward, or our attitude towards um, leaving a legacy behind, instilling into the next generation of being a good steward and of being generous? So I know it helped me a lot. I hope it helped you guys um, as well. So let's pray together. God, thank you for today. We thank you for the finances and the resources that you've given us. God, help us to be more kingdom-minded um, with the things that you place in front of us, God. We also pray for anybody listening to this right now that has a need, a major financial need. Maybe it's a job, a job need. We just pray over them, God. Provide in that situation. Um, and God, we just give you today. Again, we give you um, our resources and help us, again, to just instill into the next generation the importance of being a good steward of what you've given us. Jesus name. Amen. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you soon.